what is bioacoustics, voice energy analysis, and acoustic biofeedback. Presented by me, Kathleen Nagy, the sound lady of thesoundlady.com. I'm going to try and demystify all of these big words here on the screen for you so that you can get a better understanding of how this new technology works. Bioacoustics is simply the study of life sounds. Presently, we have two branches of this new science. We have animal bioacoustics and human bioacoustics. Animal bioacoustics deals with the sounds made by animals. For example, there is a center in Ithaca, New York, at Cornell University, that studies the sounds made by dolphins and whales and birds in a, in a way to try to understand how these species, you know, communicate with each other and what their sounds mean. Human bioacoustics has been pioneered by a brilliant woman named Sherry Edwards out of Albany, Ohio. And just to break down the word, bio, meaning life, and acoustics, means sound. So human bioacoustics is the study of sounds made by human beings. Okay, so now we've got some of that mystery taken away. Uh, I try to describe bioacoustics using the words voice energy analysis, because bioacoustics is a word that is, is new and, and the general public really doesn't have a clue as to what it means. But these words, voice, energy, analysis, are words that are all in your vocabulary. So it makes it a little more accessible when I talk about bioacoustics in terms of voice energy analysis. So it is, again, the new technology developed by Sherry Edwards. And it draws correlations between weaknesses in the voice and the state of your health. It uses a voice recording or a vocal profile. It's captured with a microphone and a recording device connected to a computer. The energy of the voice is captured just like a snapshot with a Polaroid camera. A sound, think of the sound recording of your voice as the as sort of sound equivalent of a Polaroid camera snapshot. And your voice print is as unique as your fingerprint. So the analysis of your voice energy analysis uh, of your voice energy is specific to you. It's not some general sort of modality. It is exactly specific to you. The sound energy from your voice is put into a graph using a fast Fourier transform type of technology. And here is a sample of that. So when your voice is recorded, the sound energy from your voice is transformed into this graph where the low energy is down here at this end, uh, or the, the low uh, frequencies are down here, zero hertz is down here, and a thousand hertz is up here on this end. Now, the, the gray section here is the normal frequency range of the voice. These stringers, as we call them, that come down low here, these are frequencies that have low energy not as much energy as the normal part of the voice range. And these frequencies up here that are circled are the frequencies that have too much energy compared to the rest of your voice print. And we analyze these frequencies and come up with ideas about what's going on in your body. Now, another way to understand this is to talk about the brain, ear, and voice connection. Did you know that the first organ to grow inside the womb is the ear. I find that fascinating. I'm a classically trained musician, and music and sound, you know, has been my life. But the fact that we all start out as little teeny tiny ears is very intriguing to me. And the brain grows from the ear. So now you can understand that there is a very important symbiotic relationship between the brain and the ear. It's one of the ways, it's one of the main ways that the brain maintains homeostasis of the body. Oh, there's another big word. Homeostasis, what does that mean? It is simply the ability or tendency of an organism or cell to maintain internal equilibrium by adjusting its physiological processes. So according to the sounds that your voice is making and your ear is hearing and your brain is taking in, we like to say that the state of your health is in the sound of your voice. Here's another little uh, piece of biomechanics of the human body. The vagus nerve is intertwined 
with or innervated with the uh, uh, vocal cords. So this information, the vibrating vocal cord information, is taken you know, by part of the vagus nerve up into the brain. So we have the voice-ear-brain connection uh, from the sound of the voice outside of the body coming into the ear, and then we have that internal sounds of the vocal cords and all of that frequency information that is getting sent via the nerve, the vagus nerve, up to the brain. Okay, what is acoustic biofeedback? energy balancing. All right, first bio, um, biofeedback. Let's break that down. This is a term that uh, some of you may be familiar with. It's a technique of using monitoring devices to furnish information regarding a bodily function. So in this case, we're using microphones and computers. Biofeedback is a method of learning to control one's bodily functions by monitoring one's own brain waves, blood pressure, a degree of muscle tension. It's been used to help people, for example, with you know migraine headaches. Analysis and correlation then of the weak frequencies from a voice recording can help a bioacoustic research associate, we call ourselves BARAS, bioacoustic research associates, it helps us understand very much about what's going on in the state of your health. Weak frequencies or stressed frequencies again, those that are not in the normal range of the voice print there on the graph, are correlated with what we call a, a database of frequency equivalents, or the energy equivalents of many of the body's biochemical and physical components, the energy equivalents of muscles, the energy equivalent of vertebrae, of biochemicals and amino acids and proteins, of pathogens and toxins. So many of these things have frequencies in our database and we can correlate them with those stress frequencies in your voice print or your vocal profile. Weak frequencies from your voice recording or from your vocal profile can be played back to you as sound frequencies. And this is where the acoustic biofeedback comes in. Acoustic meaning sound, okay? We use a low frequency analog sound coming out of a subwoofer, much like the bass speaker in your home surround sound system. These frequencies now, remember, were the exact same frequencies that your brain was hearing while you were speaking and we were recording your voice. We took a Polaroid snapshot, an audio snapshot of your voice, we put it into a computer, and we picked it apart. And we could see the exact same frequencies that your brain didn't have enough energy for at that moment or had way too much energy going into at that moment. Acoustic biofeedback, then, is the process of tapping into that natural feedback loop between the voice, the ear, and the brain with a microphone and playing back low-frequency analog sounds to you that would give energy to the weak frequencies in your voice recording. Now, remember, these were the same frequencies that your brain heard and was using to maintain homeostasis when we recorded your voice. Think of it like the brain not always having enough energy to do the maintenance work that always needs to be done. So the brain uses a type of triage, and, and it puts, has to put some things on the back burner because it doesn't have enough ingredients in, the terms, of, in terms of nutrients and biochemicals, or amino acids, vitamins, minerals or a lack of energy, uh, you, you didn't get enough sleep, uh, there just isn't enough energy to, to complete certain tasks. Well, bioacoustic energy balancing presents energy to the brain in the form of sound frequencies, sound energy coming out of that bass speaker. And then the brain takes that sound energy and can make the repairs that it didn't have the energy to make before. So in conclusion, Bioacoustic voice energy analysis and biofeedback energy balancing is a new non-invasive technology that requires you to simply speak into a microphone. The BARA, the Bioacoustic Research Associate, analyzes those frequencies and programs them into a little tone box somewhat like a Walkman that you can take home and listen to so it just requires speaking into a microphone and listening to low-frequency analog sound from your little tone box. 
I hope that helps you understand bioacoustics, voice energy analysis, and acoustic biofeedback energy balancing. That's all for now. I'll be back with more later. Bye-bye.